British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing a no-confidence vote by members of his own party. If he loses that vote, Johnson will be ousted as leader of the Conservative Party and, consequently, as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The leader's three years in office have been plagued, marred, you might say, by controversy, most recently when he and his staff were found to be breaking their own COVID-19 policies with boozy parties. <laughs> a simple majority of at least 180 Conservatives in Parliament is needed for Johnson to either remain in office or be replaced. Pretty high bar. Yeah, pretty serious fall from grace this would be. CBS News foreign correspondent Ramey Innocencio joins us now from London. Hi, Ramey. So Boris Johnson did address Parliament before this vote, which is happening in secret. Is there any indication of how it may play out and how members of his own party are feeling going into this? Yeah, it's uh, super interesting that these are Tory rebels who are uh, who have basically triggered his political future. And we are about 45 minutes away from the start of that secret ballot that goes from 6 p.m. local time here until 8 p.m. And then an hour later at 9 p.m. we're told that the results uh, will finally be out. But this was all triggered by um, these Tory rebels who had submitted letters to the government saying that they had basically lost their confidence in the prime minister. The threshold there was 54 members of parliament, which accounts for 15 percent of the Conservative Party membership. We do hear that that has actually surpassed that threshold, and it's uh, someplace in the 70s or so, so several dozen there. Uh, but uh, we'll be looking ahead to see uh, just how those numbers actually come out. This is a secret ballot, so we don't know exactly how individual people will have voted, unless if they say so otherwise. So, Ramey, it, it sounds like it, it, he, he's in a pretty good position to win this one, because 15 percent of the vote uh, against him was required to get to a no-confidence vote, and then he'd have to go from 15 percent all the way to 50 percent of people wanting him gone so he's probably not going to lose the, from the what, what it looks like at the moment however it is a secret vote anything could happen if he does lose is there a, another leader from his party waiting to take his place there are many people's names that are being bandied about there are listicles and rankings out there already um few of them, a few of them come from his own cabinet ministers. One of them uh, that often ranks highly is the Foreign Secretary, Liz Truss. Uh, and she, over the past several years, if you look at it, has been potentially angling herself for uh, an attempt at the top job ever since. Uh, in addition to her, there is Jeremy Hunt, who's a former Foreign Secretary. He's actually the most senior Tory member to have come out against uh, against uh, Prime Minister Johnson. And there's also Rishi Sunak, who's the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Basically, he is the person who is the uh, financial secretary, who holds the purse strings for the government. Uh, but uh, his uh, star has, in effect, uh, come down just a little bit, because in the past month or so, uh, there have been accusations that he and his family have tried to um, uh, skirt uh, taxes uh, on the order of about $25 million. Uh, so those are some of the names that are bandied out there. But there are others out there, uh, and there might be uh, the potential for a black horse candidate to emerge. But as of now, uh, it's right now uh, Boris Johnson, uh, whose name is either a stay or a go. All right, Ramey Innocencio in London, thank you so much. I'm sure we'll be checking in with you in a bit to see how that vote goes. Thanks. We're all learning a whole lot about mm -hmm. all the terms of the U.K. here with the, the Queen's Jubilee. That's and, right. And, <laughs> We're did, becoming Anglophiles over I here. I just had to figure out that, like, Tory rebel <laughs> it means conservative rebel. Conservative party is the Tory party one and the same. Right. Yes. So they don't usually associate themselves with rebels, but in this case. In this case, yes. <laughs> usually do. rebels are not a thing that they like ever That's since right. 1776, but, and a lot of other uh, events after that. That's right.